While we don't know for sure which species passed the COVID-19 coronavirus to humans, the consensus is that the virus originated in a wet market in China, where animals of every shape, size, and kind are sold for human consumption. This is not surprising since coronaviruses typically originate in animals. SARS was linked to civet cats and MERS was linked to camels. And it's not just coronaviruses that originate in animals. Ebola was passed to humans from bats. Swine flu originated in pigs. HIV likely jumped from monkeys to humans who consumed their flesh. In fact, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that 75% of emerging infectious illnesses come from animals. And infection is not the only problem associated with eating animals. Many lifestyle-related diseases that burden our healthcare system are related to the animal products we eat. For example, the World Health Organization has classified the consumption of processed red meat as carcinogenic to humans, putting it in the same category as smoking and exposure to asbestos, radon, and radiation. There are also health risks of climate change to consider. The heat-trapping methane from our planet's 1.4 billion cows is warming our atmosphere at an astounding rate. The warmer weather from climate change will increase the risk of vector-borne illnesses like malaria, dengue fever, and West Nile virus infection. There are so many reasons to give up red meat that it's a proverbial no-brainer to do so. If you've not done so already, consider jumping on the bandwagon and giving up red meat for good. Your good and the good of our planet. This is Dr. Mike Martin wishing you a long, healthy, and COVID-free life. Thanks for listening.